Welcome to Turning Burning, number one channel, all things blue collar. Here we go again. Last video you saw, we got those silos up in the air. And right here behind me, we're going to continue on these conveyors. Show you a little bit step by step how we're putting this in. Getting the uh, leg in, and then we just keep working our way forward to get to the very top. So join us. Hit the subscribe button, give us some likes, all that cool stuff, and uh, enjoy the show. Step one, you set the leg, set the bench support in place. Step two, put the next piece of conveyor section up, pin it from the back side, and pin it on the front here. Then we just keep working our way up. So as you can see, step one, we put that leg up. And um, what we'll do is that leg is pretty tall. And uh, there's nothing to hold it up top. So we don't want it to just sit there and swing in the wind. So we'll hook this um, forklift up and hold it. And as you saw, step two, we'll fly the conveyor section up in the air. It's a 40 foot section. And on this back side over here, we will bolt it up. Um, it takes uh, some bolts on this side, we'll pin it, and then over here we come up and we have some corbel connections. And on these, because we're not 100% sure where they are going to hit, we will put them up in there and then we'll tack them in place, make sure everything's good before we take the crane down and move on to the next section. So that's where we're at right now. So pretty much step three is uh, pinning it on this back over here, and then on this side, putting the angle iron clips, the little portable connections in place, tacking them, and that way we know everything is good to go. And then from there, we'll come into step four. We'll show you, we'll put another leg coming up, do the same thing, this leg going up this way. Another 40 foot section, the same exact thing. And then the very last will be the head section. So we'll show you the next steps on how we do that. And uh, we'll just keep on moving along. Andale Papa Leo! What we do is we like to run a string line even though we have all these set in place and all this is where it's supposed to go there could be mistakes in there so we'll run a string line all the way from the tail all the way back this way and so right now what Pedro's doing is he's laying in here we got you can see right here get a little bit closer we run our our center line through here and he's running and he's going to mark it that way when we set the leg we know exactly where the leg is going to sit right there oh okay. where that line is right there we know exactly where the leg is going to sit we'll lay everything out that way we're good to go it's going to fit Ernest oh yeah what I'm talking about Slowly but surely, make sure we clear the area before anything gets picked and moved. in the, the center that way we can put it back on these lines the ones I showed you earlier that way we know we're right where we need to be always best to do up front work first that way we're not uh, guessing we're just trying to eyeball this thing that way we know we're in good shape because being off down here an inch 
throw you off quite a bit when you get up here. Sat down. Like I was showing you earlier, then it'll come up. Put the forklift underneath there, that way we make sure it's level. And we can hold it until we get the next piece up. Because uh, this is so tall that um, I don't want it to flop. Fall over, even though there's a big chunk of concrete down here, it can still flop over. Hooking it so we can move on to the next item. This conveyor sat up there in place. So, on jobs like this, uh, we try to do more than one thing, obviously. Try to split up that way we're not all in each other's way. So, we're gonna head up here and uh, show you what the guys are doing up here on the top. Uh, we installed those silos that you saw in the last video, and I'm gonna show you uh, what they're doing. All right, like in that last video, we installed these silos right here and uh, they welded these legs down. We'll come over here. Got old Noe. Noe's welding. What you got going on, Noe? What's going on, Kevin? What's up, man? I'm just welding this gusset in so I can be able to split the, the webbing for the silos. Nice, dude. It's looking good. Yes, sir. Good, yeah, like Noe says, you can see where he put those, those gussets coming down. I'll show you over here. Pretty much extends these legs. Pretty much like you're extending the leg going all the way through this beam right here. And it stiffens everything up. That way, you're not going to get any lean in like this. Looking good, guys. Looking good. As you can see, went ahead and put up the last piece. It's all the way to the top of the silos right there. Uh, we don't have the head sections yet. Those will come this evening. So we will sit that up there tomorrow. So we're going to keep continuing on. Building these other conveyors out coming this way. And tomorrow we will come back. And uh, we'll do a drone flyover. Show you how we're installing the head section. And how it all turns out. See you tomorrow.